YouTube review and today I have a special guest for today and we're going to talk about this review. Can you explain? I would love to. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're really glad you came back to see our second official reveal. This one is going to be a little bit different than the first one. Our first one was on the palettes of used items and this time we are going to reveal a brand new item. Um, and this is a very special item for us to see because this, this item has a couple different benefits. One, if you have somebody in your life who deals with um, anxiety, this is a wonderful product for them. If you have somebody who has Alzheimer's or dementia, it's also a wonderful program for that. Um, a lot of people we know in our age group are you know, helping raise their parents now. And a lot of our parents have those issues and, and this does hit home for us. My father does have Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. Um, when I first saw this, this product, I thought, you know, that's pretty childish. I, I just can't see my dad doing this. My dad was always a hands-on kind of guy who liked to tinker and it was guy stuff. It was tools and it was outdoor stuff. And I just didn't see this product working for him. Well, the, um, the activities coordinator where he is living at now gave him a stuffed dog. And I was shocked because my father was just enamored at how real the eyes looked and how wonderful the hair was maintained on this dog. Um, so I started looking at dogs that actually move and dogs that actually relate back to him a little bit. Um, and I thought that maybe we could try that. So we did. We ordered this pet. It's called Joy for All. And they have two different dogs that you can choose from and they have three different cats that you can choose from. And these are robotics. They have um, little sensors down their backs and stuff that as they're touched, they react to the person. So this is the one we chose. And his name, we called him Rascal. Um, Rascal is fun. We opened him up yesterday. He came, um, it's a company called Joy for All that makes this. Um, they're considered companion pets. Um, we weren't quite sure how to do this. So Roscoe, Rascal, sorry, we're learning still. I'll tell you where his sensors are. He has sensors on his cheeks. He has sensors on both cheeks, um, on his head on the top and down on his back. And when he's sitting quietly, you can feel his back and you can actually feel his heartbeat. So it's very comforting then too. The nice thing I like about him is where his batteries are, are underneath his tummy. And you can see this, it's actually in a compartment that's hidden pretty well um, for somebody not to be taking it apart all the time. But it does split apart and there is a sensor and you can do either on, off, or mute. So I'm gonna turn him on so we can get a full effect here. Oops, he's wiggling already. Um, close him back up. Here we go, there we go. Hi there. He does turn his head to sound. He is, um, if, you, if you don't move for a while, he will close his eyes. And he actually was sitting in my car today with his eyes closed and he was snoring. So that was kind of funny. Um, you could touch his cheek sensors and he actually falls into your hand a little bit so you can cut him and pet him. His eyes open when he barks at you. He does respond to sound. He will look at you when you have sound. Hi. When, when he first wakes up um, and you start petting his back, his tail will wag for you. So you can see he has that ability. These back legs are soft and fluffy and they just sit there. But his front ones do move a little bit. They are robotic and he does... Really? Um, he is going to amaze my dad tomorrow. I, I, I think he's going to have a new buddy. Something else that I found... I bought a name tag. So my father has a, a history of leaving things at places and or giving them to people and wandering away and not remembering where anything is and then thinking people have stolen everything. So I needed to find a way that Rascal would not just get lost or be misplaced someplace. So how was I going to make it so that we could find him at all the time? When I was at PetSmart today, I bought him a collar 
and I put his name on it. And of course I had it spelled that it was my dad's and to call me if he was found with my phone number. And I put on that he is a therapy dog. I think he likes that. But then I found something that was one step more. Matthew, can you hold this for a minute? So we also found this other product called Paw Scout. And they have this also, it's $19.99 at PetSmart. It, it's an app you put on your phone. It is a little, almost like a tile, but it's round and it, it actually can hang on a dog or a cat's um, collar. And it is like a GPS tracker for your animal when it's lost. Um, I actually put one inside of the, the belly of Rascal. So my dad won't even know it's there and it will GPS track to my phone. So if he loses it or he sets it down and walks away, we can still find Rascal. Rascal cost um, $125 and we got him off of Amazon and he came in this wonderful little box, all packaged really nicely. And this wonderful manual that tells you all the different sensors that he has and what they do and where to find the batteries and the different mute buttons. So if it gets late, we can actually have the, the staff come in and they can open up his belly and they can put him on mute so he can still move for my dad, but he won't talk until they unmute him. Um, I'm anxious to see how this is going to go. My father tried to get me to talk to his, um, to the stuffed dog that he has just on the phone. And when I told him that the dog didn't want to talk to me, he informed me that maybe it was me because he talks to all the girls at the home. So I agreed and said maybe that was just the case. So um, I'm really anxious to see this. I think this is definitely a much better product than we had last time. I think this is, it, it has the potential to help so many people that deal with anxiety or dementia or Alzheimer's or, you know, any elderly person or special needs person who um, needs a dog, can't have a dog. Um, this is pretty neat. It feels really soft. Um, and he responds to touch. Matthew's sitting here rubbing his back and he's just like sitting here just loving his lap here. Um, it's, it's really a, a nice thing to have this as our second reveal because I do see the potential of it helping so many people. And um, I'll let you know on an update how it goes, but uh, we're pretty excited about this one, huh, Matt? Yeah. Yeah? You think your grandpa's going to like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are our reveals and it's actually two reveals because we do have the Paw Scout one. You know, even if you um, have an indoor outdoor animal, or if you have a dog that runs away fast or, or, you know, just breaks out and runs free and you, you're constantly finding that you're posting online, my dog's gone or, you know, something like that. This Pet Scout was a great deal. Um, it also lets, has its own community on their website where you can connect with other dog owners. It can tell you where local veterinarians are or where there's dog parks, dog sitters, dog groomers. All of those can be listed in that app. Um, you can just get that sent to you on those notifications. Um, these were really fun. These were good products. Um, I, I walked around PetSmart today and I bought this collar for him and, and had to try it on him because I didn't really know his size. And all these people kept coming up and looking like I was really strange having a stuffed animal in my cart. And so I explained what Rascal was and I turned him on and, and a few people loved him and, and wanted to play. And a couple kids came up and were talking and playing with him and he was responding with them. And everybody there had a really positive um, situation that they were dealing with with this dog. Um, I, I think this one is definitely an epic win. We're going to give this a thumbs up on. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? It's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to turn it back over to Matthew. Thanks for watching us. Um, we're going to get a new product in on Friday. So we will be having a new reveal then. This one is, um, it is also going to be a new item, but it is going to be a totally different item. So um, we're excited for it to come. It'll be here on Amazon again. And if you have a certain product that you'd like to see us do a review on, shoot us a message. We'd love to try it. This is this is a fun adventure for us, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Thanks again. Um, make sure and favorite this um, website or your Camo 329.
Yep. At YouTube and follow us and see our new uh, videos as we come. We're going to be doing quite a few of them. This has been a, a, a new adventure for us. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Until next time. And leave us a recall, a comment if you like this video a lot. And if you want to have that awesome pet, let us know in the message below. We'll tell you how to get one. Um, we did get him from Amazon. Um, like I said, he is called Joy For All is their website. Right? I think so. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you later.